express as product. Here are two practice questions for you. You can copy them and then solve. Part A is x times x minus 7 plus 3 times x minus 7 and part B is 2 times x minus 5 plus x times 5 minus x. You need to express them as products. It basically means factor them, correct? So that means factor the following. Now factoring means to find the common factors. Let's do them one by one. Part A is x times x minus 7. So factors of the first term are x and x minus 7. For the second term, the factors are 3 and x minus 7. Clearly, x minus 7 is a common factor. So we can factor x minus 7 from both the terms as a common factor. Then what do we get? So in the first term, we get x, and from the second term, we get plus 3. So that is how we can write the given expression in the factored form. Now let's look into part b. It is 2 times x minus 5 plus x times 5 minus x. When we look at it, we find that the two factors are 2 and x minus 5 for the first term, and x and 5 minus x for the second term. So it doesn't look like that they have a common factor. But imagine if we factor out minus 1 here, then what do we get? Let me write this expression as 2 times x minus 5. Instead of plus, let me factor out minus 1. That means what I'm doing here is I'm factoring out minus 1 from the second term. In that case, I can write the second term as x minus 5. This is kind of tricky. You will notice that, let me do, show it here, x times 5 minus x is equal to what? If I multiply, I get 5x. x times x with a minus sign is minus x squared. If you do the same thing with the second factor which I have written, which is minus x times x minus 5 minus x times x is minus x square and minus x times minus 5 gives you plus 5x which is same as 5x minus x square correct therefore these two are equivalent terms so that's a tricky step so this is what you should be able to do after this video right so you can always write 5 minus x as minus of x minus 5. Now you can see that x minus 5 is a common factor. So we can write this as x minus 5 times 2 minus x. I hope these steps are clear. So we factored out x minus 5. We are left with 2 and minus x. So that is how you can express sum or product. So that is how you can express sum or difference of a polynomial expression as a product of polynomials. This process is also called factoring polynomials. I hope the steps are clear. We'll have a couple of more examples for you to practice. Thank you and all the best.